So today we are going to be using this Bernat Home Deck yarn, which is made out of cotton and nylon, which I think gives it a very modern look. We've also got this 6mm crochet hook, as always. <laughs> we have got a pair of scissors, and then a reusable coffee cup for reference. So we are going to start off with a slip knot. Okay, and take your hook and slip it on there and pull tight. So we are going to make a chain that is going to stretch to fit around your cup. So for me, that is going to be 24 chains. Okay, and what we're going to do now is join the round just like this. And I'm going to just go right through here, right through the very first stitch that we made, the first chain. And so your hook, and then we are going to make a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through the first chain, and pull through the loop already on your hook. All right. And what I'm going to do now is take the tail like this. We are going to work over the tail so we can weave it in as we go along. All right, so we're gonna be working on the back loops only. So these are our front two loops like usual, but then we're just going to flip it and work into these back ridges right here so it'll make a nice border for us. So we're gonna be working half double crochets, which means I'm going to chain up two, maybe. <laughs> and then to do a half double crochet, we are going to yarn over, all right? And this is our first back loop right here, okay? Right there. All right, so we're gonna yarn over and go into that back loop with our hook. Again, I'm holding the tail. So we are just going to yarn over, pull through that chain. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull through the three loops that are on our hook. All right, and that's our very first half double crochet. So we're going to continue doing this all the way around. All right, so let's just find our next back ridge right there. Okay, the front two, and then there's the back. Again, yarn over, go through your back ridge with your hook. And make sure that your tail end is going to be over your hook so that it gets woven in as well. Again, let's yarn over and pull through that back ridge. Okay, and then with three loops on your hook, you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so I'm gonna show you that just one more time. Okay, yarn over, insert into back ridge. tail end over your hook and then yarn over pull through and with three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three so now that we've done that I'm just going to finish up going all the way around this foundation chain and I will show you how to join this together Okay, so we are back and you can see that we have kind of been working on the inside. So what I'm going to do is just flip this inside out. All right, and then we just have one more stitch that you can find on the back right here. And we are also going to have one more stitch than we originally chained because the chain two we did at the very beginning is going to count as a stitch. So let's just finish that up, yarn over and pull through all three. And now we're just going to join the round by slip stitching on the top of the chain two that we made. Okay, so make sure to insert your hook with just the top two loops, the loops that make the V on top so that it's gonna give us a nice and even look. Okay, then I'm just gonna make a slip stitch by yarning over going through that first stitch and then also the loop that's on our hook. 
Okay, so now we have 25 stitches in total. And what we're going to do now is chain up two because we're gonna be making half double crochets into the third loop, okay? So this is one, two, and then three. Okay, that's loop three right there. Again, one, two, and then we flip, and there's three. Okay, so I'm just going to chain up one and two. Okay, and we're gonna go into that first one right here. So it's one, two, and flip. And there's the third loop right there. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the third loop, and then we're just going to yarn over, pull through that loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three that are on our hook. Okay, so let me show you this one more time. So one, two, and then when we flip it, there's that third loop right there. Okay, they're just going horizontally across the back of the stitches. They almost make another kind of V, if you will. So let's yarn over, go into that third stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to form this kind of ridge right here. I'll show you one more time. All right, so we're just gonna continue doing this all the way around until we get right back to where we started. So I will show you how to finish that up once I get back. Okay, so we are back at the end of our second row and we're just going to finish off with our last stitch. So again, these are the front two loops right here and then we just flip and there's our third loop. So let's just do one more half double crochet into that third loop and we are going to join this round the same as we did the last one. So just a slip stitch into the top of the chain two. All right, so now we have 25 half double crochets in this round as well. Now for round three, it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna be doing single crochets instead, which means we are only going to chain up one. And this chain one is not going to count as a stitch. So we are going to make our first single crochet into that very same stitch as our chain one. So let's insert our hook, yarn over and pull through. And then with two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both two. Okay, and now we're going to go into this very next stitch. and create our next single crochet. And I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around until we get back to our first single crochet. All right, so I'll come back when I'm done with my 25 single crochets and I'll show you how to finish up this round. Okay, so we're at our last stitch right here. So I'm just gonna make one more single crochet. All right, and to join this round, we aren't going into that first chain one, but rather we're going into that first single crochet. So not here, but here. So we're just gonna make a slip stitch by inserting our hook into the first single crochet stitch. Yarn over and pull through, and then also pull through on your hook as well. Okay, so there we go. And there is gonna be what's looking like holes right here but there's no holes, there's no missing stitches. That's just how it is with our chain two, so nothing to worry about. All right, for our next round, we are going to chain up two, and we're just doing half double crochets all the way around. So we're just going to go into our very next stitch, yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing this all the way around until we get to the end. And then once we are at the end, I will show you how to finish up and start round, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, round five. Okay, so we just come up to the end of round four. Let's just make another half double crochet into that last stitch right there. 
and then again after that we're gonna have a total of 25 stitches all right so again we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our first chain two and sometimes this is a little difficult as you can see right here Jeez. All right, for our next round, we're going to do another round of single crochet, which means chain up one and go into that very, very first stitch. All right, that's gonna be where your first single crochet is going, as you can see. All right, and then go into the very next stitch right here. And these two are definitely the hardest to get into sometimes, as I've noticed while doing these. But just make sure to go into every single stitch with your single crochets and again you'll you'll count 25 so as long as you have 25 single crochet crochet stitches around you're good okay so we're done with the end of round five and this is the last stitch that we are going into right here so just one more single crochet and that should be our last so our 25th stitch Okay, and then we see that that's the chain one and that's the first stitch. So we're just going to make a slip stitch into that first single crochet. All right, and once we've got that joined, our next row is going to be another row of normal half double crochets. So again, that means let's chain up two and then we're going right into the very next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. All right, and we're just gonna keep rolling right along just every single stitch until you get back to the very beginning. So again, I'm just going to finish up this round and then I will show you how to join and how to complete our very last round for this project. All right, and we're just about done with this row. So all we're going to do is of course yarn over, go through that very last stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. All right, and we're just going to join the same way we have been by slip stitching through the very top of our chain two. Okay, so now that that is finally joined took forever <laughs> all we are going to do is um, for our last round it's going to be half double crochets in the third loop only as we did at the beginning and so for this we are going to chain up two and then remember how we were doing it before so again this is the first and second loop and then we turn it over and that's the third loop all right, so what I'm gonna do is yarn over, go one, two, and then into that third loop. And then we yarn over and pull through. And then we yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so one, two, and flip. And there's our third. So again, let's yarn over and go through that next third loop. And complete our other half double crochet okay so we're just gonna keep doing this all the way around until we are finally done with this little cozy so I will come back once I have finished all of this up and then I'll show you just how to complete your cozy and we are now almost done so let's just finish up that last stitch Okay, yarning over and going into the third loop only, we're going to make our last half double crochet. Alright, so let's just join with the slip stitch into the top of that chain too, like we have been. We're finally done with that last slip stitch. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like at the very end. So now all I'm going to do to finish it up is we are just going to chain up one, get your scissors, and then do a little snip. Okay, and then I just 
take this and I pull it through and then we just pull tight. Oops. <laughs> okay, this is what our back is going to look like. And it goes just a little slanted and that's because of the single crochets that are in the same stitch as our chain ones. If we had done the chain ones without the single crochet, it would go straight up. So if you wanna do just the chain ones and slip stitch into those chain ones, then you can do that as well. But this is our finished little cozy. And so I'm going to demonstrate how I just put that on. Okay, so I'm just taking it from the bottom and slipping it over the bottom because it's gonna be too small to go over the top. All right, so we just adjust it like that. And this is how our cozy looks like when it's all properly on. And I, I really enjoy this one because I like the ridges that I think give your hand a little more grip than just say like a normal half double crochet cozy would do. So you see how it's nice, right? It's nice. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you've been enjoying these little Christmas gift series. And if you have, please like and subscribe because it goes a long way in helping my channel gain traction. So if you'd like to see the written pattern for this, just head on down to the description box and I'll have it linked below. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.